going to the festival you know, for those who can read Chinese. He amass, buried, and treats everything with gentleness and compassion. He is loyal to his countrymen, filial to his parents, and kind to his brothers and sisters. So the second one is like kind of like love thy neighbor, in a sense. Right? It's more uh, close to the ears of the West, right? If they read the Bible, love thy neighbor, right? First is walk the paths of righteousness. Second is love thy neighbor. I told you this is cross every religion, every teaching. But people might be saying, yeah, it's simple. No. Foundation, that's the reason why our society is a mess. These are not done properly. Uh, first of all, is Ji De Lei Gong, a mass merit and treats everything with gentleness. And, oh, Ji De Lei Gong, a mass merit. Right, Chinese is split into two. He a mass merit. What does merit mean? Right? What form? And why does it require a mass, require accumulation? A person who do good deeds, right? It does not, you know, like uh, Rome was not built in a day. Right? Our characters, our behavior, our habits does not happen in an overnight. It does not change overnight. It does not become, you know, you don't, you don't become what you are right now overnight when you were born from uh, your mom. So you have to go through all that environment, condition, education. You know, all the favorite TV shows that you watch with the idols and all that. Also, your friends, the cool guy, the guy you don't like in school. or And then some book that you read that inspire you. Or some terrible encounter that makes you think this is how things is. Such as such as such. You amass so much of this experience and form into the person you are nowadays. Subconsciously, you have so many past life that goes through many kind of experience that also forms who are you today, who you are today. Same goes for your habits. Same, uh, who you are, right, means habits and all that. So in Liao Fan and Mr. Yu's teaching, we talk about how they struggle when they start to know what is right, right? He has to go through the virtue of evil, avoid evil. And he knows that the theory and all that. But, you know, this is taking time. We tend to go relax, too relax, when we're by yourself. And that's when all the offenses come back. So no matter how well you do this in the public, this will come back again and again, unless we have a resolution, resolve. So this person who are mass married means he always do good as if he's drinking water, breathing. I already mentioned that um, the past sessions. You, you keep doing that, like you go for gym to build up a nice, well-built body. You go for um, you go for piano lessons, you go for music lessons to build dexterity in your fingers, to accumulate to the music, to feel that. So you go to China Army Tour for to actually get used to that rhythm. There are meat of for tone in your in your mind. So anything happens, you can bring up a meat of for. So this one as well. You want a fortune? Accumulate it. How do you accumulate? Be good. Do anything good that you encounter upon. Anything that benefits others is good. All right. Uh, it's like accumulating your wealth. It's like building a wall. So I'm reading from this commentary and um, you know. If you are poor, doesn't mean that you can't do a merit. Reason why you're poor is because the merit you accumulate in the past life is not enough, and that's why you must even be more. You must you must be even more diligent in accumulating merit. And people who are rich must understand that they have merit because they they have this because of their past accumulation of their merits or fortunes. So they must continue doing it if they want to preserve it. So if you're poor, you can use, you know, good advice, volunteering, or anything, anything you can think about. You know, spare up some time, even though you're busy with work, trying to make a living. Spare one or two minutes of your time, one hour of your life, help others, 
help the communities or you know even write well in ancient time you can write good books uh to, that advise people to be good or promote something that is good right? promotes like good advice use your energy if you don't have the wealth use your own energy use your own time time is a form of energy in your life right you spare one hour of your life doing this all right and doesn't matter what you do you know donation or anything you have to try to complete it that's how you amass complete merit incomplete merit is coming from people who do it halfway and say bye bye because you don't get everything it's fair you have to do everything towards the end towards this perfection that you could achieve in your power uh, only when you do it with your heart you know full heartedly doesn't matter if it actually works or not in the end the, the actual thing that you do but you actually have full intention to go all the way and you do all you can in your practical uh, ability you know your material and your energy in terms of time you do all you can with that that's full-heartedness right it's a sign of that you're going full commitment this then you will be able to touch the heavens and you have to do it as soon as possible because only then you can accumulate as early as you can uh, and 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 your fortune will come yeah and do not have the mindset of asking for reward after you do one good thing so i have a grandma across the street oh yeah i help the volunteering in this temple uh, now i should have merits where is it don't do that that's that's another offense <laughs> in a sense that kind of attitude right no one likes it do it because it's right doesn't matter there's a reward or not that kind of person deserves the most merits it doesn't matter if you got rewarded or not all right. Obviously, you can ask, demand what is rightfully yours in terms of salary and all that compensation. That's that's about the society health. You know, if people don't compensate properly, then it's creating a culture of taking things for granted. But I'm talking about you volunteer yourself outside of it because you do it because it's the right thing. Or in the work that you do, you don't, um, other than your basic salary on or compensation that you, by law, it's required. You you do something a bit extra, but helping other people or helping your colleagues up to speed, or one or two minutes extra of time, a few hours, one extra hour extra of your time to do something uh, to, to help others. You know, you know, managing their folders or something. You know, those small stuff. You volunteer yourself a bit just because you want to help them. You know, to go home as well as early. Then that kind of mindset is also not asking for reward. It's also amassing merits and the reward may come in from a promotion or a, a very warm and welcoming working environment everything takes works relationship in work relationship in family it, it needs to be accumulated time to time all right so that's why you have the second sentence it's a perfect lead-in treats everything with gentleness and compassion among the all the good deeds this is the best you know be gentle be compassionate um over here is a very uh, big thing Sixing, so what kind of what does compassion means um, that's what humanity is based on right we call it how we how we how we how we treat everything with compassion everything includes things like your tools your other than people other than animal the things everything that you use you have to be um, gentle with it don't use it harshly or don't waste it use them to their maximum capacity all right like if this table can be used 10 years 20 years if and you you have to you know call it as i mean you have to throw it away after one two years then you need to reflect on what kind of using what kind of user are you it's not gentle it's not compassionate all these little things forms uh, adds up to your merit adds up to your score i mentioned about score when i introduced this 
this goal is important because right now we are tied by the scores. We can't escape from six reams. That means we have not achieved that merit level where we can not worry about that because everything we do will accumulate merit without even thinking. Now we have this situation where we not paying attention, we might fall back into the bad habits that will minus our meritorious goal that comes in form of your quality of life, of your wealth, in form of your lifespan. It's very direct, right? If you want to improve your life, everything's small things like this, you know, you have to have the heart of compassion and compassion shows through your gentleness towards everything, towards people. Uh, and that's kind of heart will always accumulate merits because you will not harm people. And even though you give advice that sounds harsh, you know this person can take it and you give them an earnest advice, all right? And not trying to, you know, honey things up. That's also a compassion. I'm trying to say that because I don't want to give uh, illusion of uh, wrong, wrong thing, uh, how to say, a wrong perception of. So I just say anything nice, that's it. What does nice word mean? Honeyed words, sugar-coated words. Oh, you should, you're great, or something like that. Oh, those are not nice words. Those are just sugar. It causes diabetes. What I'm talking about real compassion in terms of words, nice words and all that is, nice action is you actually benefit that person. That person actually grows as a person, actually matured, actually become a um, upstanding member of society. As in, that person is... Um, more wise, also like learn from you more, I mean, from your compassion, they also become more compassion, more empathetic, not as ignorant, not as angry, or not as greedy as it was. That's the real benefit, because that kind of heart accumulates fortune. You help that person, like teach a person to fish, rather than feed them the fish. You help them to accumulate, you teach them how they accumulate the merits. You can use the different terms. You can say that if your mindset is like this, you will never get to anything. So you need to change your path, something like that. So back to this is um, uh, treats everything with uh, gentleness and compassion. Yep. And we'll continue with the other two. Zhong Xiao Yu Ti Zheng Ji Hua Ren. He is loyal to his country, Zhong, countrymen, filial to his parents, Xiao. Xiao is also including his brothers and sisters. So, Zhong uh, Ren, he cultivates himself and performs others. So that's the second sentence, the one I read in Chinese. <clears throat> so this, from personal, you know, your personal attitudes, now you extend it in the place that you live in, you know, your country, be Patriot, I mean, be patriotic, be, uh, love your country, uh, be loyal, don't betray them. <laughs> I can't say much on that. Feel it to your parents and kind to your brothers and sisters. So these are all part of a filial. This is towards your own family. This is towards your own country. All right. So be loyal and be filial. That's the core, core topics. But loyal itself in Chinese, um, you know, it does not go, it can go different spectrum. It can go as in sacrifice your life to protect your nations. That's uh, a lot of movies that show that a lot of them are touchings, uh, especially with those who are based on real life. But also in forms of everyday, you know, everyday life as a citizen, you don't avoid evade tax. I have to say that a lot of times. Don't try to evade tax. The money that you have is belonging, like I said, the reason you can accumulate the money is because this nation has provided you that environment for you to grow your business or have a have a facilities for you to go to work, something like that. Obviously, different nations have different policy and not all of them are good and you need to fix it, but um, do your part, you know, don't invade it. Normal people, we won't do that. I'm talking about rich people. Uh, uh, normal people, how much can you evade? <laughs> you tie up to this nation. Like, you can't have offshore account. What's the point? You only have like, what, 10K, 20K. 
the point is like no, no matter where you are who you are up or high your position you you need to do your part for the nation all right and also as the government officials have you done your job uh, as a company uh you know company staff also have you done your job are you loyal to your duty all right uh, it might be a terrible organization sometimes you know they might not doing their job well but have you done your part first once you finish your part uh, if you have done nothing wrong in your in your own role that's the first step you need to think about not other people is wrong other is because i'm aware there's a lot of things going wrong with the world right i'm not here to say that it's sunshine and rainbow i'm i, I also feel cheesy when i say that i myself seen a lot not because i'm very experienced in life but I read and perceive, I see, I heard from. But the point is, filtering out all this noise, that whether it be true or not, the core is what are you doing instead. All this that is wrong, that is not right. This is the Dharma and the age, guys. What do you do instead? Have you done things right? Do you have to do right by others? Have you do right by your job, by your task, by your nation? Right. If you do right, you know, be an honest person, uh, do your job properly, and improve in your job. You know, everyday people we don't always become a government officials, but even in a company, same thing. What you do, have you done it properly? You know, have you create less? Have you have you helped your team to improve their working capacity and uh, ability? Improve a lot of processes and all that. If you can, if you do that, then congratulations. You're worthy of even bigger role. That's fortune. It's very direct. Doesn't matter how bad the environment you're currently in. If you do right by yourself, by others, then you will one day get promoted or get in the better environment, or better working environment. That is a that's definite. If you're earnest in your in your task and duty, you don't fish around, then you will. All right. You you will get the chance to move on. So so I'm using this kind of mindset so that you are com you you understand that right. It's not like you sit there foolishly do it for nothing. Everything you do has consequences, and consequences does not have to be negative. It's, it it is usually used in negative context. Remember the consequences, but it has response as well. Good work will be rewarded, all right? And what kind of good work is good work? The work that's not sort of troubles or backlog for others to fill in. Like everything you do, you create no backlogs. That's it. It's clean. And you even consider what might happen, scenarios that might happen, and you cover up for that, or you inform the, the person who is related to this job, your boss, or the other team that related to this task you're doing cover up for them as well as in you you help them to do their job better as well that kind of person who doesn't want this employer who doesn't want this uh public servant to serve their nation right so this is very everyday stuff you know you can do it in your job even you were just in amazon filling in the boxes for that i know their company is terrible in their policy inhumane but you know, you do your job, you don't skimp, and you, you do all you can, and then you try to find out another job that is better. And if you have proven yourself in this tough environment, right, even though your country or your company or even your family might not be ideal or might have a lot of issues, negligence of, you know, the laws and all that, you know, they're not very kind to the people who are less fortunate, something like that. You do your part well. You will still shine through this because in the toughest environment if you can still stay true to your heart when it's being loyal being filial and being loyal not blind loyal you're being loyal to what is right right and for all it's bad or, or good it's like family right for all that is uh, terrible that happens right not everyone have that i don't have that but some people might have a very terrible um upbringings and all that they're still your parents still your siblings no matter how terrible the situation happens, maybe the arguments or you know, 
be abused or something like that. You still have to, um, in the end of the day, to your parents. You still have to maintain a semblance of connection with them. So as your nation, no matter how terrible that is, how unjust that is, how you know prejudice you have received from this nation, right? It's still a place where you where you call home until you migrated, of course, which we did. Right? It's still a place you call home. Even you migrated, it's still a place where you were born. So there's still a little bit of um, emotions in there. And you're loyal to that memory. You're loyal to that part in your life. That's how I, that's my tips about this. You know, you don't like company as well. The, everything's terrible. They don't do things properly. Maybe you've seen so much people turn over. Right now, it's not your time yet. Do your job well. Right. Don't create enemies and all that. And and always have confidence that you know this is not you. This environment is not does not define you. This environment propels you to a better one. But you're still staying loyal to the idea of you know being true to who you are, being do right by others, no matter where it is. Doesn't matter if they're good or bad. Right. That's that's the best thing about loyal. In Chinese, it's even better. It's called zhong xin. It's formed by two words. Zhong, if you guys seen the China's, uh, Chinese words, Zhongguo, the nation of moderation. I'll be honest, if we don't put all the imperial big nation thinking, Zhongguo means what? The nation that cultivates moderation. Zhongyong zhidao, a nation that can cultivate path of moderation. That means true to heart. It's called Zhongguo, the the middle kingdom or middle nation, nation that are moderate. But we're going back to the actual word, Zhongxing. Uh, loyal means your heart is, you know, 